it is martini time. Oh my god, I am so shiny. It's the retinol. Ignore the face shine and the fact that I look like a bald British man. We are going to make a little drink. You also shall make a drink if you want one. <laughs> I'm going to do a tribute to Blair Waldorf. We're going to do a dirty gin martini. Okay, so we're going to do gin. This is what I'm using. This is Roku gin. This is a really good one. It's Japanese. I'm gonna do a double shot, which is 60 mils. I'm not gonna use a pourer because I'm lazy. Ice. We're doing vermouth. It's a fortified wine. Martinis are literally so easy because they're like two slash three ingredients. I'm gonna do half of what I did gin because I like it a little bit drier. And then we do olive brine. So you want to garnish it with three olives. That's what I do. But you need a little bit of brine. So I'm going to do like maybe 10 mils, which is pretty dirty. And then we're going to shake it. This is my martini glass and I'm going to pop in three olives. One. I should be using a spoon, but I'm the only one who eats this, so two. I mean, if I had it my way, I would probably put in like five. I'm obsessed with olives. Cheers. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is an unboxing kind of fashion, beauty, makeup. I got a couple of bits and pieces from around and I'm kind of annoyed, well, not really, but I'm a little bit upset because I bought literally everything that the Iconic sells, basically. And I only had two packages arrived today and I was supposed to get 10. <laughs> so that's okay, we must go on. So I'm gonna start with the necessities. Now, you know how like every year, maybe like every couple of years, if you're gross like me, you need to like get rid of all of your underwear and buy new underwear. That's what I did. I have been wearing some of the Bonds size teens, 10 to 12, that I probably got in like grade eight or grade nine because they're that sturdy. Like I have been needing four years to replace my underwear. And like I picked up like a couple of bits and bobs over the years. We're not talking lingerie. I'm the queen of lingerie. That, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about everyday black, white, beige, comfortable, brief, granny panties. I've tried to be a thong girl and mm, mm, a bit on the fence. I've tried the Calvin Klein thongs that are like stitched and they have like the Calvin Klein band around the top. Don't love them. I find them super uncomfortable. So I went back to Calvin Klein. Funny story, I actually went to David Jones first because I need to get proper t-shirt day-to-day bras since getting my breasts done. I did do a vlog on that, so if you haven't seen my breast augmentation vlog, go and watch that, it's juicy. But yes, so I have like got some lingerie pieces, but I haven't got any like actual proper bras that fit me and were like a person who is employed to be a bra and boob specialist, like actually sizes me. So that's what I went to David Jones for. And to be honest, I didn't really have a good experience. The sales assistant at David Jones worked for like Simone Perel, which is like the most expensive brand. And I find them a little bit uncomfortable. Like I prefer Burley and Benden anyway. And I was like, I don't like wire. I find it really uncomfortable. And like, I don't need it because I have fake boobs. And she was like, your boobs will sag even if they're fake. And just proceeded to like hand me wired bras. And so that wasn't very good. She just sort of completely dismissed what I said. Anyway. I finally found, she gave me all the Simone Perel ones. I hated all of them. She then gave me um, some like random brand that I can't remember. And then I was like, I'll try Calvin Klein things. Like I had to ask her to go and get them. And she brought me back, what is it? It's called like the, the liquid bra. And as you can see, it is literally plain Jane. It is t-shirt bra. It's buttery soft material. It's not really banded. So it's like really comfy. And I was a bit skeptical about the strap. It has like a bit of a, like a little bit of a lace on it, just a tiny bit. That's something else I told her that I didn't want because I have to wear scrubs and I didn't want, you know, you don't want to be seeing lacy under scrubs. That's not a good look. So I tried this on and I was like, this is probably the most comfortable bra I've ever tried on that has a wire. I'm not a fan of a wire, but I was like, fine. 
fine. I'm a pushover, especially when it comes to like being in situations with like, you know, people you don't know. So I bought one of these bras in black and I had to ask her for a beige one, but they didn't have any beige ones. So I paid full price because they didn't have any sale and like, oh, whatever, it was expensive. I think it was like $90. Yeah, 90 Australian dollars. But I liked it and I needed a good bra and I'm probably going to have this for a long time. So I was like, no worries. I'll just get it online. And she didn't tell me that there was a Calvin Klein store in the shopping center. I found that out when I was just like walking after the fact. So I go into the Calvin Klein store. This exact bra is $58 and I just paid 90. So I <laughs> end up going into Calvin Klein and I actually buy the same bra because I had it in all the colors. So I bought it in black and in beige and I am intending to return that one to David Jones. So I got this is it in beige because like I wear a lot of white tops and that sort of thing. And I just feel like a blowfly. No. Um, so yeah, really good deal on these ones. These were $58, which like I know is expensive, but for a good quality bra, I think it is worth it. And like I said, I also updated all of my underwear and I found these ones that I really like. They've got like this really thin kind of band. And again, like it was 30% off everything in the store. So I got these, these are called bikini and they are so soft and so stretchy. Like I am not a fan of underwear or bras. I don't wear either very often at all, but big fan of these. I can finally throw away my year old bonds. And then I got the thong version of it because I tried it on and it doesn't have, it's almost like a seamless, like it doesn't have stitching. So it didn't like kind of dig into my skin, which I really loved. And I have worn these yesterday and today. Obviously not these exact ones, I bought like eight. And I did like them. They're very, very, very comfortable. And I also got like little beige ones. So I would highly recommend if you need underwear. Yes, expensive, but also very worth it. They always have sales on apparently. And you can also get them on Amazon for like pretty much the same price if you don't have one near you. And then I went to Kukai. And now I don't shop at Kukai. Ever, 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 ever. I think I have two dresses from there from when I was in high school because I'm quite um, anti cookie with regards to like, you know, you hear a lot of like customer service issues and like size inclusion is issues and that sort of thing. Um, I am usually like an eight to a 10 everywhere else. And I went in there because I just want some like basic tops. I tried on one of my girlfriends like the other week and it was really comfy and I was like, fine, I'll just get some like a basic or two if I go in there and I find something that I like. And I'm a 14 in Kukai. Like I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. Like that's a large or an extra large. I don't know. But I went in and I found, and I actually had really good service. The girls, they were really friendly. Um, so it's the one Andrew Pilly. So I just got like this knitted like black tank and it's really soft and it's really stretchy. Um, was it overpriced? Yes, this was $80. Um, but I like that it's not full length, but it's not crop. It's kind of in between. So look, was it worth it? We'll see, but I do really like it. And I don't have any like sort of basics like this. So yeah, pleased with that one so far. And I've actually just got onto like the Amazon train. Like Amazon, I don't think has been like really a thing in Australia. And I didn't realize that it was like free shipping. So I just sort of always avoided it. And then it came to my attention that it's free shipping. And so I've just been going crazy on Amazon lately. Like I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I bought beauty blenders, socks. I bought like a whole bunch of stuff. And one of the things that I've been needing because I've recently retaken up golf, I know, retired man vibes. Uh, I actually grew up playing golf and competing and fun fact I was actually on TV for golf if you live in Australia and you remember that TV show totally wild um, where like kids just doing lots of different things like show you about what the thing they do yes I was on there I digress <laughs> So I've been recently playing like once or twice a week with a friend of mine and I don't really have any golf friendly clothes. And so I looked on like the iconic and even just like Google, um, like women's golf clothing, like polos, like that, like classic, like lesbian esque, very conservative, you know, that kind of vibe. And I didn't like anything. And I found this one Adidas dress that was $300 for a cotton dress with like a collar. And I was like, excuse me? And then I went on to Amazon and I found these really cute ones. I think they were like 60 or $70, free shipping. Um, excuse me, how cute is this? I wore this actually this morning because I played 18 holes today at Pacific. Um, so I'll show you from when I tried it on this morning. Super comfy. And it has like these little shorts that come with it like these little bike pants and they have pockets and there's a collar and i love the color it, is it a bit short a little bit short but like oh well i love that so would highly recommend next 
this is exciting. And I've had a lot of messages actually and like comments from you guys being like, hmm, you tend to not be keen on like fashion, like clothing, but you tend to be really keen on like accessories and shoes. Yes, that is very true. And the reason is because I love shoes and I love handbags. Um, and I agree with you, like some of my clothing, mm -mm, it's not great. I've had it, I, mm, I don't really update my wardrobe as often as I think I should. I need to get in there probably like this weekend and like just Marie Kondo, like get in there. Is, does this bring me joy? No, get rid of it. I need to live on like things that I love and like basics and things that just go together and just like a functional wardrobe that I will get a lot of wear out of. And I went to Pacific Fair, which is like this ginormous shopping center on the Gold Coast on the weekend with my girlfriend. And she's really obsessed with Scanlon Theodore, which is like a, a brand that's pretty like top tier. I think they're like sort of between like six hundred and nine hundred dollars for dresses and i'm just like i can get that for a hundred dollars or even for like fifty dollars at h&m or target or kmart or maya or david jones i sort of had that position and i went in there with her and i was like oh, okay this is cute i'll try it on i get it now i get it now oh my god i felt like this dress the, i got two dresses actually i feel like they were made for my body like so flattering, so well made. The material, I don't know what it is. I've never felt anything like it. It was like linen, but it was like cotton. It was crisp, but it was soft. I was like, like, don't worry about 600 bucks. I would pay way more for that, which of, of course, like I don't want to seem out of touch. I know that is insanely expensive. I don't regularly spend that much money on dresses, but let me show you. The first one came in like a coral color, like an orange. And I really liked it, but it also came in this like blue, like this true blue color. Oh, it looks darker on camera, but it's more of like a, oh my God, it literally looks like purple. This is like bright blue. That is so weird. I don't know if it's like the lighting or what. Nope, still looking navy on camera. Take my word for it, it's blue. And it has like a button down, it's a little bit conservative. It has a little cut out at the back and it is like tapered in at the waist and it's like short, so I'll show it to you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has pockets. I just feel like such like a shopping mom housewife. Like it's so feminine and so cute. And I just like, it's so comfortable. And I don't know, it's like not usually what I would wear, but like you could wear it to a fancy lunch with heels. I would just wear it with my Chanel slingbacks, like going shopping. I love it. And the second one is kind of similar, how it's like a little bit more conservative and like has a nice fitted waist. Um, it's black. So this is the second one. And I just looked at the, the labels and they say 100% cotton. And I'm like, mm, okay, but I have never felt cotton like this in my life. So it's like a little bit tapered around the waist. And this one has a little belt that you can remove. And like you could wear a different belt. I would definitely wear like an Hermes belt with this. Oh, the, the sales associate did like the most perfect bow. I'm like, oh my gosh, can I take you home with me? I don't even know. But again, so comfortable, so flattering. I just love how like girly and like cute it is. And usually I don't like these like sort of elasticized sleeves, but they're really not tight and they're super comfy. And it's pretty long. It's like mid calf, but like, it's just like the perfect, like Sunday going for a shop, going to the markets kind of dress. And I just, I can't even get over how insanely comfortable it is like not wearing a bra and it's just like it's giving all it's supposed to give and so the blue one was 550 i think this was 650 which again is really offensive for a dress but i'm convinced that i will have this for the rest of my life because i love it that much and like I said, I ordered so much from the Iconic. So I have no idea, excuse the mess. I have no idea what is actually here. Um, slash, I don't really remember what I ordered either because I just don't. I am obsessed with the Iconic. I think it is so underrated. It's like revolve and forward, but like, for the affordable girls, you know what I mean? 
Okay, so we have tank that I got. I got this green one because I'm having an absolute green moment. Any kind of like forest green, I love. Like, ooh. So I was shopping online, it's hard because of the quality, but okay, this feels very soft. It's like a knit kind of fabric. Yeah, it's just a tank. This one's full length, this one. Again, it's looking way darker on camera for some reason, but mm, that kind of doesn't really look like it's going to fit me. Oh, yeah, I'm not really, not really confident with that one. It's a 10, apparently. It's an Australian size 10, which is a medium. So let's see. <laughs> And then I also got, so what brand was that? It was from a brand called R-E-U-X Row. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Oh, and then my trusty pleather skirt that I've had since my uni days has finally become too small for me to the point where I can't wear it anymore. Like I've gotten a little bit, you know, more womanly, let's say. So I have got this. To replace her. Oh, she's looking good. I didn't want something too short. Um, so yeah, this looks perfect and it needs to be high-waisted. So this was from a brand called Cali, C-A-L-L-I. And like everything that I bought from the Iconic was like under $80. I got it all on 30% off and this looks super cute. I just hope that it fits me. On to the next Iconic package. Oh, yes. This one. So, also, I've gotten into the trend of like sort of, well, I mean, it's everywhere. The linen, like oversized button up shirt, like the boyfriend shirt for gals. And I saw this one and it's so nautical and it's so cute. It could be dressed up for a lunch, it could just be worn to go get groceries. I love it and I just feel like they give like effortless, chic kind of vibes. Like they're comfy, they're not tight. They are made from linen, so they're breathable. So it's just like this little pinstripe blue. Again, like it literally looks brown on camera, but yeah, just like a little button up. Um, I'll insert like a photo of what it actually looks like because you literally cannot tell. I had to sell all of my Honey Birdette um, to a lot of you guys actually because nothing fits me and my new boobs anymore. But I didn't sell two bottoms. Whitney Unicorn and Molly Red because they're like two of my favorite pieces and I was adamant that I would just replace the bra and I would find my new bra size on one of like the buy swap sell pages or Depop or whatever and I did. I found Whitney Unicorn, my favorite Honey Birdette set of all time in my new size so I can wear her with the tags on and I am obsessed. So this is $140 new and I paid $100. And again, like, it's kind of like this sort of netty, clear situation. So it like looks nude, it's like your skin coming through. And then it has like these little shimmery flowers. It has like these really pretty little diamantes. And I'm just obsessed. Like, I just feel so pretty when I wear this set. I love it so much. So I was very happy. It actually only took like a week or two for me to like sell the one I had in like a B and replace it with, is this an E or a double D? Double D, so it might be on the fitted side, but we'll see. Gosh, this is tiring. I played 18 holes of golf today, and it was raining, and it was, yeah. It was my first time at Pacific, and I didn't love it, to be honest. Like, I way prefer Virginia if you live in Brisbane and you play golf, which I think is only a very small amount of people. Quite a niche. So I just got this package from Adore Beauty, which I love, and I just got a couple of my... Shampoo and conditioners, which I use Redken. Nothing is sponsored. I pay for this myself. I think this is the best hair care brand. All of my shampoo, all of my hairspray and leave-in treatments and everything is all Redken. It's what my hairdresser uses on my hair and I really like it. So I use the All Soft and then I use the Blondage Purple Shampoo like once a week. And then I also use the Extreme Length and the Acid Bonding Concentrate. I just sort of like rotate between those four. I got a little free mini of the Redken Acid Bonding Concentrate, which is like a leave-in conditioner, which is really good because I bleach my hair and like give it a whole bunch of exposure and just do a lot of shit to it. That's really not good for it. So it's really like good to just sort it out a little bit. And then I was running out of all of my serums as well. So I got a new, actually I got two of each, I think, because I'm sick of having to buy them all the time. I use the Ordinary. I love the Ordinary. Like for cleansers and moisturizers, it's Cetaphil and CeraVe. 
I prefer Cetaphil. But for serums, it's the ordinary. This retinol, 5%. 5% retinol. Don't start at 5%. Start at like 1 or like 0.5. And like work your way up because it can be a bit harsh if you're not used to it. $18. $18 for a high quality, high concentration serum. Like it literally wouldn't be anyone else. Like I cannot talk high enough, highly enough about The Ordinary. I've heard that Desiem, the company that owns The Ordinary, is like a little bit corrupt. But like, or was it The Ordinary, The Ordinary? I don't know. There was like some kind of like beef with the company like CEO or head it was like a bit bonkers or whatever um, but you know what as for the products like I there is nothing that I prefer at all I then got vitamin C I use this every single morning every single morning I would die for this product honestly it is the vitamin C suspension 30% in silicon I also have used the one in something else it's not squalene it's something else but they're all good um, I the texture of this is it's hard to explain but it's it's like a paste and it can be quite dry and it can like tingle a little bit on your skin so I don't put it on just as it's because like again it's like kind of hard to spread because it's so thick I will just use like a pea size of this and mix it in with my moisturizer in the morning and put that on and then make sure you're always using 50 SPF at least over the top of that every single morning obsessed with vitamin C if you take anything away Cleanse twice a day, moisturize twice a day, vitamin C in the morning, retinol at night. Not necessarily every night, but every second night is a good thing to aim for. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. And yeah, I just literally bought like two more of them because I'm so obsessed. I think the vitamin C was like $12 on Adore Beauty and they do free shipping and I'm just obsessed. Oh my God. I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills freebie. It's a little hair hair brow hair pencil which I don't really need because my eyebrows are tattooed on but I do love Anastasia Beverly Hills and I do fill them in like when I'm doing my makeup so they sent me soft brown and when I say they sent me I mean it's a freebie that everyone gets for ordering I think I think it was like over $50 or something they like gave you all these freebies and get free shipping um, back in the day I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills like pomade which I loved but because I didn't wear makeup that often, it just like dried out and I didn't get to use anywhere near as much as like I should have. <gasps> Look, it's so petite. This is like a perfect little, ooh, a spoolie on one end. Again, I have nothing to brush because my eyebrow hairs aren't real hair. And like a little, that's probably honestly a little bit too dark for me. It's called light brown, but I usually do like a um, taupe or a blonde kind of pencil, but how good. And then a little, I don't know what this is. Locatane cream. I'm not going to use that. That's just going to be thrown away. I can't do fragrance and that is fragrance. What do we have? High smile teeth whitening strips. Can't use these either because my teeth aren't real. Tip 10. Cute. I can use that. So that was all from Adore Beauty. Highly recommend. I then went to Mecca. Mecca similar to Sephora if you live overseas and don't know what Mecca is but it's better in that it stocks like more brands that I use personally. So I went in there to get a new Laura Mercier translucent powder because mine's running out. They didn't have any, it'll all run out. And I went in there because I wanna try the Hourglass concealer. I'm not actually sure what it's called, but I know what it looks like. And they didn't have any, like they were literally out of stock of so much stuff. And I'm just kinda like, mm, the pandemic was two years ago, like. And then I went online to order it and I couldn't, so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, but I went in there and I wanted to try the Bare Minerals, like, it's not really like a BB cream, it's sort of just like a tinted moisturizer type thing. Yeah, Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream from Bare Minerals. I got the color mm, Vanilla, and it comes in like a little tube like this. I have worn this twice, so I'm going to wait until I wear it like five times to like give it like a confident review. I like it, I don't love it, it's very thin. I don't really have anything else to say like I like it because it has SPF in it if you want that little bit of coverage with SPF this is great uh, it gives less coverage than the Natio tinted moisturizer and nowhere near as much glow as things like the um, Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter um, so it's good and I will use it I did I tried using my fingers and it like did not want to go into the skin and so I just sort of put it on with my fingers first and then use the beauty blender and I think the beauty blender like literally soaked up so much of the product um, could be because of the SPF I'm not sure I don't know if I would buy this again I'm gonna keep using it and see what I think um, I also got 
the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, which I've seen all over TikTok. And yeah, it's basically very pretty, very pretty little packaging. It all is. And it's like this little sponge and you squeeze it and you literally just put three dots there and you blend it in. And I have, I'm not really big on cream and liquid products. I do have the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, which I really love. That blends amazingly. And I just wanted to try this one because it looks really shimmery and fun. And I do really want to try it. I am a little bit on the fence with Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Flawless Filter. The foundation, Beautiful Skin Foundation is really good. I despise the Pillow Talk Mascara. It is garbage. There isn't a drugstore mascara that I wouldn't rather use over Pillow Talk Lash. You put it on, it's heavy. It won't hold your lash curl. Your lashes will just flatten. And within like 20 minutes, you will have smears under your eyes. It is so bad. <sighs> other than that, I don't think I have any other Charlotte Tilbury products. I don't have any lip products, but I would be keen to try them. But I was so unimpressed with the mascara. I do like the look of their um, eyeshadow palette though, so I would be keen to try that. I'll let you guys know what I think of that. As for mascaras, uh, I'm still trying a whole bunch. NARS Climax, out. Lounge Face by Lauren Curtis, out. Like, they're all nowhere near as good as my current holy grail. I'm still trying to find something that is as good as this. I've tried expensive. I've tried drugstore. Like, literally everywhere. Nothing comes close to Maybelline Sky High. The normal and the waterproof, they're both good, but I would prefer the normal. It's like a little bit less spidery and dry, but nothing holds the lashes curled and leaves no fallout like Sky High. Better than sex, garbage, absolute panda eyes. Um, lounge face lash, a tubing um, mascara, which is better for smudges, just so heavy on the lash. Like will just flatten my lashes out, won't hold a curl. And the fallout is not like a smudgy, smeary fallout. It's like a chunky fallout. So not good folks not good um i have got a whole bunch like i've literally got a list of ones that i will buy when i'm next like in a in price line because you guys are, like recommending some to me which i love keep it coming i am just i'm so on a mission with this whole mascara ordeal that i'm in too deep like i have to continue i have to finish so that's what i'm gonna do i then have oh yes okay so i don't shop at mecca very often i would say like twice a year because I don't wear makeup very often, probably like once or twice a week. And like I'm a member, like a beauty loop member or whatever. But like I don't really, I don't ever go. I got what's called a beauty loop, which is like a little gift, like a little free gift. Like, you know how we just had Adore Beauty. They gave us a little sample size of Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This shook me. I was like, I wouldn't consider myself a loyal customer. I wouldn't expect any gift. Like maybe a little, you know, lip gloss sample or something. This is like maybe... 150 to 200 dollars worth of gifts from from buying two things and i i mm, it just makes me want to go back and spend more money doesn't it we have a joe malone perfume sample this one is really good generally i find joe malone like a little bit mummish and mature and feminine which i like but for me i want to smell like 18 you know what i mean so this i actually really like it's the mirror and tonka i don't know what either of those words mean but it has this little cute little sample size so I can put it in my bag and take it to the gym and it's this little sample. And it's really pretty and like florally and it's cute. I like it. We then have Pericone MD High Potency Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer in this little pot. So I will give this a go. I'm trying not to be deterred by like MD and like dermatologically tested because it doesn't mean anything. If there's fragrance in here, I will not use it. I'm not about the irritants. Okay, there's literally no information on here, so I'm gonna have to look it up. We then have a full size Stila waterproof eyeliner stay all day smudge stick in black. Okay, I feel like this is like definitely over $30. We then have a Dr. Dennis Gross. Oh, I just threw that everywhere. Now, these products I find expensive. They're sort of on the tier of Drunk Elephant and, um, God, I can't even think of any of the others. The people that do the, like, save the people, help the people, or free the people, free the people. I just feel like they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. And again, 
Cetaphil, CeraVe, The Ordinary, they do the job and they're affordable. They're no fuss, they're no frills, but they are the best things for your skin. So this is a vitamin C and lactic. Ooh, I don't know if I'd put lactic around my eyes. Uh, firm and bright eye treatment. So what, probably has some caffeine in it. Again, we have no ingredients on this, so we're gonna have to look that up, which is not ideal. It's all in French. Okay, it's like a little pump. I don't know if I'll use this, especially like around the eye area. I do not want to use chemical exfoliants around my eye, but I will look up and see what some of the um, ingredients are. But again, I'm just like here for the freebies, you know what I mean? We then have a full-size NARS lipstick. What? These, when I was in high school, were $52. I don't know how much they are now, but I'm sure they're more than that. A freebie. In a freebie box. I'm shook. And it's not in a gross color as well. Usually in the freebies, they'll give you like a brown or like an orange or like a purple, something that people won't buy. But this is like a color for me. It's called Rose Cliff Satin. And I don't remember the last time I got like a lipstick. So I am actually so pleased, pleasantly surprised. Oh, okay. This is brown. That is interesting because the box says, the box sort of makes it look a little bit, yeah, that's pink, right? This is brown. Mmm, it's cute. It's not as cute as I thought it would be, but it's cute. And finally, I got this Kosas Wet Lip Oil Plumping Treatment Gloss in the color Unhooked. And it's kind of, it's pretty glossy and clear, but it has like a faint pigment in it. And it is so pretty. It smells nice and I really like it. So I have used this one, very cute. That wraps up my little impromptu haul slash chat. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next week.